African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 21st of March, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupant's direction, active actions by units and artillery fire of the Zapad group of forces inflicted fire damage on enemy manpower and equipment close to Dyrechnia, Timkovka, Kharkov region, and Novoselovskoye and Stomakovka, Lugansk People's Republic. Up to 80 Ukrainian servicemen, three armored fighting vehicles, and one D-20 howitzer were destroyed. In Krasny Lyman direction, Russian artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces hit units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Nevskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, Yampolovka, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. As many as 60 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, and D-20 and D-30 howitzers have been neutralized in this direction during the day. In South Donetsk and Zaporizhia directions, operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted fire damage on armed forces of Ukraine units close Ugladar, Novomikolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Priobrazenka, Zaporizhia region. The enemy's losses amounted to more than 30 Ukrainian troops, two pickup trucks, as well as one D-30 howitzer. In Kherson direction, the fire damage has neutralized over 40 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, two Akatsiya self-propelled howitzers, and one U.S.-made M777 artillery system during the day. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 95 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units at their fire positions, manpower, and military hardware in 107 areas during the day. In addition, three U.S.-made and slash TPQ-37 counter-battery radar stations have been obliterated close to Chandrigalovo, Donetsk People's Republic, Orkov, Zaporizhzhia region, and Belazurka, Kherson region. Fighter aviation of Russian aerospace forces has shot down one Su-25 aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force in an air-to-air -air operation near Nakhonorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Russia's air defense systems shot down 31 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Tokarevka, Kharkov region, Krasnorechenskoy, Chervonopopovka, Novovadyanoy, Kremenea, Plashchenka, and Voyevodka, Rubeznoy, Baranikovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Zelenigai, Eurozenoy, Blagodatnoy, Vladimirovka, Yevgenovka, Staromlinovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Vulyanovka, Pologi, Zaporizhzhia region, Novaya Zborievka, and Krinky. Kherson region. In addition, three Amars multiple rocket launchers were intercepted. In total, 403 airplanes and 223 helicopters, 3,502 unmanned aerial vehicles, 414 air defense missile systems, 8,363 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,070 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 4,403 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 9,039 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.